What's up, everybody? My name is Dr. Brian Brosey. I'm a doctor of physical therapy, co-host of the Well Man's Podcast, and I'm a physical therapist and owner of Be Well Physical Therapy and Wellness. Today, I'm going to be talking about scalene stretch, why this is important. Scalene is three muscles, anterior, medial, and posterior, middle scalene. The brachial plexus, which is the conglomeration of nerves that run out of our neck and then run down support and feed supply of the arm, come out and make their exit from the neck through the anterior middle scalene. So these being tight can have a variety of problems, nonetheless nerve pain. I'm here to show you a scalene stretch. We'll focus primarily on the anterior and middle scalene. One important reason why we've got Skeletor out here. The scalenes, so they attach to the neck, right, throughout the neck. Um, you're looking at the right side of the skeleton here, and I'm gonna stretch my right side for the sake of the video. They attach to the neck, and they are actually the, first, the anterior middle attached to the first rib as well. That posterior one attaches to the second rib. So it's important to know that it's attaching to the rib because the rib is where we're going to try and find our uh, footing and our placement to kind of hold down and stretch that area. And with the skeleton here, let's see if we can lean them in a little bit. This is the first rib. This is the collarbone. So it is, you will hit the first rib before the collarbone on most people. Again, everyone's a little different. There's always anatomical variations. Um, Skeletor is uh, losing screws. He's pretty old, um, but no degenerative disc disease, let me tell you. So, scalene stretch. Again, we are talking the side of our neck here. This is primarily where we're going to feel it. We may even feel some tingling or sensation throughout the rest of our arm, kind of neck area. You can, in some way, anchor the right arm down, but that's not as important here because we know, hey, it attaches to that first rib, so we really need to hold and anchor that down. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to kind of take this like karate chop style hand, and I'm just going to clasp my, my neck lightly slide down until I feel, and I can feel, that I've hit this first rib. I kind of reach a springiness and a hard bone that I can kind of feel. And it is, just to give you an idea, right before, see, here's my collarbone, and I'm hitting kind of right, right above that, just directly above that. I'm gonna depress it with my left hand and just keep it in position. From here, I'm gonna lean to the side I already feel the stretch through here. I can also kind of lean to the side and look up and hopefully bias that anterior scalene a little more. The more I lean to the side and kind of look down, hopefully bias that medial scalene or middle scalene a little bit more. And you can hold this anywhere from 10, 15, 30 seconds upwards to a minute and really get some good relief in the side of your neck. Hopefully if you have any nerve pain or nerve compression through these scalenes are helping to alleviate that. Hope this helps scalene stretch big things knowing that it attaches to that first rib. That's the point we're trying to find and hook with that kind of karate chop. Most people that is definitely above the collarbone. So before you hit the collarbone, you should hit the first rib just to kind of give you an idea about how you should go about finding it. Gentle and soft, start nice and slow. You can start with just simply side bending and then play with some other additions like looking up or looking down and rotating your head slightly and find what works best for you. Hopefully this helps you have any questions at all. Feel free to reach out to me. You can also hear more about stretches and exercises and general tips to improve your health on my weekly The Well Man's podcast where we look forward to hearing and talking with you over there. Again, feel free to reach out if you have any questions at all. My name is Brian Brosey. I'm a doctor of physical therapy and be well.